Hi guys! Hello and welcome to another behind the scenes. Today I am going to show you guys how I start up my animation, how I get the whole thing set up so I can start working on it. I mean the first things first is I have to grab a video. Uh, I have to rip the audio out of it and it's simple. You just go to any video any one of the videos, whichever one I choose, uh, I have decided, chosen a moment, and let's just say, lit, uh, this one, XCOM, Planet Vegeta, whatever. I'm not going to play the video, I'll pause in a second. Yeah, let's just say this one, I'll just copy this, and I use a website called Clip Converter that uh, rips the audio out and I can download it. You can find multiple sites that do this, but this just happens to be the one I use. And once I download the audio, yeah, go ahead and close that. I use Audacity to chop it up. Just uh, rip out the little section that I need. And uh, here, I have sounds. I usually have the original video open so I can see. It's better to like uh, see the time that I'm going to be chopping up. And uh, for these audios, is this one already chopped up? Oh, okay. This one's already chopped up a bit. It's like videos are usually like 12 minutes long or something but uh, yeah uh, usually this process takes about an hour maybe it too it depends if it's a long moment and I have to chop it up a lot to make it a minute or two less than two minutes because that's how long I try to go for otherwise it's too much work and uh, a lot of the work is having to listen to it over and over and cut out like any pauses or breaths or if he's laughing like a whole lot, I chop it up so that it's shorter and I don't like linger on that too much. And that's the process of uh, cutting up the audio. And then once I'm done with all that, you ju I just export it. And then I open it up in Flash. Uh, to export audio into Flash, you have to go to Import. Import to Library. And let's see, I have all my audio right here. The one I'm working on right now is going to be called Nova's Family Reunion. And it's, it's these two files. They're two separate files. Because one's going to be the main thing and one's going to be the little audio for the credits. And they have to be separated. And you go ahead and open those. And they'll be down here under Properties. And you go to Sound. And there's Sound Files. You can connect them to a layer. I'm going to go ahead and name this layer Audio so that I know that my audio is on this layer. And I'm going to lock it so that I don't draw on it. Because that just kind of throw me off. And you just select that one, the first one. And it's here. And when you have the audio, make sure it's set on stream. Not start or stop or event. Stream. Okay? So that when you uh, hover over it, it plays while you're hovering over it. Let me just go ahead and add some frames in here. I see right now, it's, it tells you right here how long you're at. 25 seconds. That's where this point is. Like down here is 24. I'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of frames till the audio stopped because that's how long the animation is going to be. Uh, okay, and it's here. 72.8 seconds long. I'll just leave it at 73 because I like having it even. And that's how long the audio is. And see with stream, a lot of you hear that? You can hear the audio while you scroll lot. through it. It might be kind of loud for you guys, so you can go to edit and like change the audio a little. You can lower it or like make it like low and then high, but I'll just make it all even right there, so that's not too loud. Yeah. See if it's on start, you won't get that. You won't hear anything. You only hear it when you start playing it. Nope, and it has to be from the beginning. There's a lot of Saiyans. Yep. Holy Saiyans. And even if you stop, it's going to keep playing. See, I'll go ahead and put the stop on. Leave them alone. And there, it'll stop. I have to do it from the beginning, too. Let's go ahead and put that back on stream, because it's, it's, what, it's what you need to be able to hear it, right, and work with it. And let's see, once you have the audio, once I have the audio, I make the quick rough of what I want to do, like what each scene is going to look like. I usually just name this a sketch because that's what I make everything look like. Just a quick little sketch. Kind of, eh. And I go with the light color. 
something that'll be easier to draw over and won't be too distracting or in the way. See it like that. And here you see this little button right here? That's pen pressure. It helps. I like it. And without it, you yeah, got like a constant thick line. And let's see. Uh, I know you guys can set up the document. Let's just uh, change how the how the workspace looks. The background color, you can have it white, but I like having it slightly blue because having it pure white is a little hard on the eyes. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and change it back. Uh, that wasn't the color I had. There you go. That wasn't quite it either, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to change it. Let's see. Uh, this one. Just go ahead and pop it there. Yeah. Okay, and my frame rate right now is 24 frames per second. You can go higher if you want the animation to be smoother or lower, so there aren't, uh, you don't have to draw as many in-betweens. But the lower it is, the more choppy the animation will probably look. So, yeah, I try. I keep it at 24 because that's, like, just just about right for me. It's like, it's not too choppy, but it's you don't have to do a whole bunch of in-betweens either. As for dimensions, I go by 800 by 45, but um, if you want it to look nicer, you should go higher. I use a program called, let me get out of this real quick. I use a program called Swivel, so it doesn't matter too much for me because it'll enlarge the whole video up so that it's bigger and it doesn't lose any quality. Uh, I don't know about other animation programs. It works only for Flash, but uh, you could probably find... Nah, I don't know if you'll find stuff, but uh, you should just work better in bigger, uh, in a bigger workspace. Yeah, okay, that's a good color for me. See, I just, uh, the next thing to do is just to listen to the audio and then figure out how you want each scene to look like. Like, let's see, let's listen to the first part. There's a lot of Saiyans. Holy Saiyans! Holy yeah, you fuck. see all of them over here? This is okay, so the first scene would probably go, maybe like around here. When Sly's talking, I guess, let's see. Holy he sees like a lot of scenes. I'm gonna make him, draw him like, it's not gonna look like him. Probably, it's, just, it's gonna be like a stick figure kind of thing. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. Just a quick sketch. This is the direction he's gonna be looking at. Let's give him some... Okay, and he's talking, and he's looking, so I'm going to have, like, his arm up and his hand over, so that it looks like he's looking over there, looking at a thing, and I need to, like, let's give him some little details so I know it's sly. There's his hair poof, and his fox hoodie. Yeah, just real quick, just so I know who it is. Yeah. Holy Okay, and that would be about it for the scene. Sometimes I'll add, like, quick backgrounds, like, nothing too detailed, because, yeah, I'll just add that later on. You can see there's some hills. Yeah, and that. And then it just goes so on and so forth for the rest of the animation, and that's how it would be like. But, <coughs> yeah, that would be it for the main part. Over here, you have scenes. You can make multiple scenes. It's different from, uh... These little scenes, they're part of the huge one. See, this is the main body, like where I have the main animation. It's how I do it. And then I will have the title, which will be on its own thing. The whole little title screen card thing. And then there's the credits that I would do. Yeah, I spelled this wrong. For the credits, I usually just copy and paste from other other animations because it's it's the same thing. I don't need, really need it change anything. Well, I'll show you. Let's see. <sighs> Let's go to this one. Nova Storms the Tower. See, here are the credits. And I just copy and paste the main frames. These two. The words and the background. I'll just copy in that onto this one. And then I'll just change the color a little. Probably make it pink or blue. Yellow. Who knows? And then I have to copy this too. These words are right here. And that's how I start off with the whole animation getting set up. 
let's see, and let's close that. Nah, I'm not going to save anything there. And I do that, and that's how I get the base of it. Here's the actual one I have so far. Yeah, it's different from what I have over here. But, eh. I forgot to lower the audio on this one. Bring it down. There you go. And by the way, uh, for the audio, this is for like the left side, and this is for the right side. If you're having head, if you have headphones, so yeah, I could leave this up, and then you'll hear the sound high on the left side, and then it'll be kind of low on the right. There's a lot of say. Oh. Yep. I don't know if you there's can hear that. It, probably only people wearing headphones will hear that. We'll be able to tell, but yeah. I mean, it's good for, like, certain effects, if you're wearing headphones. But, uh... So yeah, there's that. And then I have a reference sheet. Uh, I have a file for it. Uh, and it's, it's probably in here somewhere. Re no, references. This one. I got a bunch of different heads and stuff. Let's... Uh, zoom out a little more so you can see them. I have Spoon, Nova, Alex, Kevin, and Coots. Although for Nova I've given him some nude head shapes because uh, I don't know, I'm kind of tired of these ones. They're kind of fat and round. But eh. And then I have all my mouths. The mouths, I just reuse them. Uh, I edit them a little bit to look a little nicer if I need to. Uh, and this, I do not need this. This is for an the previous animation I was working on. Go ahead and delete that. Okay. And yeah. And then I just cop I usually just either copy the whole frame or copy everything onto here. So that's just I have it there for easy access. I'll just go ahead and close this because I don't need it right now. Ah uh, sure, change save changes. I don't need this right now. I don't need this because, yeah. Okay. And I usually have the references on a separate scene, so that's easier to go to if I need like a color or something. And that's a, about how I, everything about how I get everything set up. See, that here's the audio for the for the credits. And another thing I do for the audio if I need to is I have it like fade in or fade out if, if it, it helps for transitions, especially between the the main body of the animation and the credits, because sometimes like sudden audio changes is a little disorienting. So you could do that. Although for like the body, I tend to have like a couple seconds of silence so that I, I can transition it a bit. I usually have a fade in and fade out. And I think that's about it for how I get the animation started up. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything you'd like to know, feel free to ask me about um, animating. Although I, I can't tell you how much I'd be able to help. There's only so much I know myself because I don't actually... I'm not actually like a professional on this, believe it or not. <gasps> oh, yeah. <coughs> so yeah, I think that's uh, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. I hope some of this helped you a little bit about starting doing animations. Although if you're doing like original stuff, uh, you can always record the audio yourself. You can do that with Audacity too. Or you could find websites that have sound effects that you can use for free. So there's plenty of websites. The one I use is called freesound.org, I think. I think that's the one I use if I ever need sound effects. Usually that's where I go to. Anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.